Okay, people, this video is for young girls that really want to get married. I think my glass is showing you. We are we, wa 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 we we a a we are we. So this video is for young girls that want to get married, especially the ones that have least. It must be dark, tall, and handsome. It must be rich. It must be from a rich home. It must be this. It must be that. I'm not saying it's a crime. I'm not saying you shouldn't have a list. But what me I'm saying is you have to rewrite that list. You know, you have to rewrite rewrite that list. That is coming from people that have have experience. We've been married for nine years, almost getting to nine, ten years. So you have to have experience. Number one, you have to have on your list is um one that man will have to love you. That man should love you more than you. That man should love you beyond and beyond. You understand? Because right now, what they are using to measure how to get married for most men now is is does she have Bobby? Does she have Bakasi? You understand? It should be more than that. It should be more than that. It should be, what is she bringing to the table? Do I love this woman enough that tomorrow, if that Bakasi shift to one side, if that Bobby produce, feed children, and that Bobby, do you understand? So most time, don't, most, just know that you, you need a man that will love you beyond you. A man that will love you no matter the situation. A man that will love you no matter what happened. I don't know if you guys get what I'm So right now, it's not about that. It's about when the storm, when the storm comes, will he be able to stand with you? Will he be able to stand with you? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying now. Uh-huh. Number two on my list is a man that genuinely loves the Lord. Not the man that is going to church. Not the man that is going to church. Too. A man that is a worker in his church. No. A man that genuinely loves the Lord. Even if you're there, you are not there, you can attest that this man loves the Lord. I'm not talking about people that they actually love the Lord because they are poor. I know of a lady, she was carrying Jesus Christ on her head. That was because she was broke. Immediately, she got a job. And they started paying her. I saw different side of her. Even the church is not going again. This is somebody that was a committed worker. She was in the prayer band. She's the one that will wake me up in the night. Let's pray. For him, let she got the job. She just, I'm like, wow. Wow. Me, me, by that time, they were looking at me like the sea now. But me, I'm like, wow. So some people actually go to church because they needed to, they don't have a job. Or they don't have money. Or they are looking for something. So, Marry a man that genuinely loves the Lord, a man that will go to church without you reminding him, a man that I know that he need to do certain things, a man that loves the Lord will love you, a man that loves the Lord will respect you, a man that loves the Lord will do anything in his power to protect you. So ladies, in that your list as you're writing things I want in my ID man, write a man that genuinely, not a man that just loves the Lord, a man that genuinely loves the Lord. You know there's a difference, a man that just loves the Lord. Mm. I be Christian, I, I was born, I was only a Christian. No, a man that follows what the Bible says, a man that will provide for his family, a man that will be a provider, a man that will not cheat, a man that is not a drunkard, a man that is not a narcissist, a man that is everything you want a man that is not your father but a man that fears the lord a man that keeps you safe a man that protects you a man that does all in his power to see that you are okay you are good i don't know if you guys get what i'm saying so for me that is a man you should marry that genuinely loves the lord another point is does this man have somebody he listened to does this man have someone see so many eh, nobody can talk to them i said they will tell you go and call your father Go and call your mother. Who is your mother? Who is your father? Do you understand when you guys are fighting? But when your husband or the person you're getting married to have a mentor, have somebody he respects, have somebody, it might be his father, it might be his brother, it might be his big uncle, it might be somebody that has done something in his life. But when these people have somebody they respect, that kind of person is good to go. And it, let me tell you, marriage is not bed of roses. Mm -hmm. It's like I said, reflection. Let me remove this girl. So guys, marriage is not bed of roses. At times there might be disagreement that there is something. I'm not praying devil is coming. I'm not saying devil should come in. Devil will not come in. But there's someone he'll listen to. And that is a person you can talk to. So marry a man that listens to somebody. A man that has a mentor. And another one that should be on your list is a man that is on a journey. A man that is going somewhere. 
a man that has a future, a man that have a focus, not a man that said, I want to stay in civil servant. And after 36 years, when government pay me my gratuity, that's when I will build a house. Like, <laughs> my sister, so you have to wait for 36 years to build a house. The same routine your father went through. After your father retired for 36 years, your father went to the village and built a house. The man, the man you marry, no vision, no nothing. You just want to be waiting for the salary government is paying him every month. Especially in this Nigeria, the four is increasing every day. So I don't think, marry a man that is on a mission. Marry a man that have future purpose, that have future plans. Marry a man that will follow your future. Marry a man that will, that will encourage you. Let me give an instance. Now let's assume uh, this man met you when you, are in, when you are a civil servant or you are working in a certain place. Something happened along the future and you are and you're sacked or something. Will that man still love you? Did he love you because of your job? Or did he love you because you have fine teeth? What about if that you know something? Things can happen, that teeth can break. That's what I'm trying to say. So marry a man that will add value to you. Marry a man that is on a mission where you help him. A man does not that does not have a future is a dangerous man. Hey! I have to say that again. A man that does not have a progress, a man that does not have a future, a man that does not have where he's going to, that man is a dangerous man ready to explode. Because immediately the salary is not working, your salary is not working, you become the enemy. He starts seeing you. And ever since I married you, how many blessings? They said he, their finance is a man, finance is a good thing, I will turn it favor from the Lord. Ever since I married you, how many blessings did you bring? All is failure will now start heaping it on your head like you are the failure, you are the failure. Meanwhile, you are not the failure, it's just that he's not saying it. Do you get it? Mm, mm, mm. Even the Bible said that I will bless the work of your hand. What is this man doing that the Lord wants to bless? Let me give you a scenario. The Lord say, I will bless the works of your hand. Let's assume I'm selling Gary. The Lord is going to bless my Gary. Even if I'm in a civil servant or I'm working for somebody's company, let me tell you, that is the work of my hand. The, the Lord will be blessing that company because of you, but not for you. So the company will be reaping your own blessings. So marry a man that is focused, a man that is on a journey, a man that has something doing. I have to emphasize that over and over again. Two jobless people cannot go and marry each other. And you are saying, and the Lord will do it. The Bible said he will find us a wife, find us a good thing, and obtain a favor from the Lord. What is that man having? What is that thing that God wants to bless? Do you understand? What is that thing that the Lord wants to bless? When you wish shower, I'm just saying that ladies, clean your See that list you wrote that you're writing? I want a man that is tall, dark, and handsome. I want a man that is rich. I want a man that is, can dress very well. I want a man that is six minutes man. When you enter the house, all those things don't count anymore. They don't count anymore. <laughs> As you're praying, be praying, I want a man that is not a husband, a wife, Peter. I want a man that will not misunderstood everything I'm saying. I want a man that respects me and respects his family and respects my family. I want a man that is a provider. You too, you should be a provider. As you are praying for God to bless that man, pray for God to bless you too. Because you too, woman, don't you like blessings? Don't you want to be rich? Don't you want to be a scarce community? Why are you wasting all your life, your youth, praying for a man when you can actually invest that time and pray for yourself? You, can, you are praying for that man to be rich. What about praying for yourself to be rich too? So, invariably, what I'm saying is, what is good for A is good for B. So, pray for yourself. Pray that the Lord give you your heart desire. And also pray. Don't just, you don't marry blindly. I know a lot of people that are in a loveless marriage. The girl, they don't love the man. The man don't love them, but they are just there. They are not enemies. They are not friends. They are not lovers. They are cohabiting and they are living peacefully. There's no problem about it. So guys, is that the kind of life you want? I'm not sure that's the kind of life you want. Like, as you can see, I'm not joking. I'm not joking in this video. I'm very serious. So guys, my name is P to the A to the T to the T part A. Yeah, but happiness is free, mistress. Try to be happy no matter the situation. See, nobody can buy your happiness and nobody can make you happy. So try and make yourself happy. That is the hazard. Hey, that is the hazard. Hey, that is the hazard. Bye, people. Peace out.